front of Christini's some freakishly cold winter's day. I had on several unflattering layers of wool. He slipped on the ice with his grocery bags full. So I rescued some Fruit Loops he dropped by the curb. And he made some remark that my smile was superb. I thought that was sweet and I started to go when he said, hey, what you doing tomorrow? Because I'll be here at the corner of Bleecker and Mercer tomorrow at 7. If you want to meet up, I'll be waiting right here. And in case there are two fellas waiting for you, my name's John. He waved and then he was gone. Needless to say, I went back there to meet him, mostly to see if he'd show. And there he was, out in the cold, with his jacket pulled tight. He took me to dinner and kissed me goodnight. The next week we went to this terrible play, and the week after that drank hot chocolate all day. And suddenly eight or nine months had flown by when he said, hey, what you do in the rest of your life because I'll be here right beside you as long as you want me to be there's no question there is nothing I wanted so much in my life this might sound immature but I'm totally sure you're the one and we had just begun we got hitched in September our favorite month with the rock old synagogue and we bought an apartment on west 17th street and talked about children and getting a dog our first anniversary came in a flash promised to take the day off he had to stop into his office that morning and so i went walking uptown to this bakery i know when i heard on the street what i thought was a joke the sirens and saw all the smoke so I'm running back home with this feeling of dread to the voicemail he left the last words he said I'm sorry I don't mean to ruin your evening by bringing up all of this stuff you're probably wondering why I even called you tonight well today something spooked me all right I saw this storm cloud of papers fall down from the sky and I thought of that day and I started to cry but as sure as I breathe I hear John Clear's day saying hey you're allowed to move on it's okay because I'll be decide to get rid of my favorite sweater even if you go out on my birthday this year instead of sitting at home letting all of life's moments pass by you don't have to cry because I'll be here when you start going back to the places we went to together take off my ring and you let yourself smile when you meet someone handsome and patient and true when he says that he wants to be married to you when you call him one night and he meets you downtown and you finally answer him yes yes jason i will marry you i will give you my heart it has taken so long I'm ready to start. Right now, John's whispering congrats in my ear because I finally let myself tell you
thank you so much for watching. Um, I really, really love this song. It's probably my number one favorite song right now, which is kind of depressing because it's, it's you know, it's not the, the happiest song in the world, but it does have a good ending. I just really wanted to share this with you guys. Um, and I look forward to posting more videos very, very soon. I actually have a lot more time right now, so I'll definitely be able to do that. And I've got this nice little setup here, so I'm not like putting the microphone in front of me and everyone commenting saying, you're lip syncing and blah, 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 blah. And I can tell you're lip syncing because the microphone isn't showing or something like that. I'm like, look, just cause the microphone's not showing does not mean that I am lip syncing. I'm not, so. Bam. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching again, and be sure to share this video if you want. Um, comment, subscribe, etc. It would mean the world to me, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Bye.